So today we're going to be doing the challenge object of matches. The prompt reads, construct a function object of matches that accepts two arrays and a callback. Object of matches will build an object and return it. To build the object, object of matches will test each element of the first array using the callback to see if the output matches the corresponding element by index of the second array. If there is a match, the element from the first array becomes a key in an object and the element from the second array becomes the corresponding value. So before we jump into any coding, just as a high level overview, um, our strategy here is to iterate through our first array and invoke our callback function on each of its elements. If the evaluated result of invoking our callback function is strictly equal to the corresponding element in array two, we'll save the element from the first array as a key in an object and assign it the value of the corresponding element from the second array. So let's first start off with the information that we're given. So from the prompt, we know that we need uh, a function object of matches that accepts two arrays and a callback as arguments. Um, and we also know that this function should return an object. We're also given some test cases on lines four and five that contain strings um, and a function on line six that returns an input string converted into uppercase. So let's just start with getting our pseudocode down um, before we jump into coding our actual solution. So we know the first thing that we need to do is declare a function uh, labeled object of matches. And we know that this function should accept um, two arrays and a callback function as arguments. After we do that, the first thing we should do within our function is declare an empty object. And this object is going to be used to store all of the matches. Once we declare our object, we'll go ahead and iterate through array one. And um, for each iteration through array one, what we're going to want to do is check to see if the evaluated result of invoking our callback function Passing in the current element is strictly equal to its corresponding element in array two. Now, if this check evaluates to true, what we're going to do is save the current element as a key um, in the object that we created, and we'll assign it the value of its corresponding element in array two. Once we finish iterating through our array, all that's left to do is to just return uh, the object that we created. So now that we have our pseudocode down for, for our solution, let's just go line by line and um, translate it into JavaScript. So again, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is declare a function um, labeled object of matches that accepts two arrays and a callback function as arguments. We're just going to label those parameters as array one, array two, and callback. The first thing we'll do in our function body is then declare an empty object. So we'll use the keyword or, or the keyword um, const to declare the variable. Uh, we'll just label this object matches. And right now, we'll just assign it the value of an empty uh, of an empty object. We'll then go ahead and iterate through our array. We'll just use a simple for loop for this. So let's go ahead and initialize an index i to zero. And for as long as i is less than the length of our array, we're going to keep on running the code in our uh, for loop block, and then increment i at the end of it. So for each iteration, uh, we'll check to see if the evaluated result of invoking our callback function passing in the current element is strictly equal to its corresponding element in array two. So we'll go ahead and use an if statement to check this condition. All right, so we'll check to see if our function invocation of callback passing in the current element in our iteration is strictly equal to its corresponding element in array two. 
So if this condition evaluates to true, what we'll do here is save the, the current element as a key in the object and assign it the value of its corresponding element in array two. So in matches, what we're gonna do is use bracket notation to save a property of the current element in our iteration and assign it the value of the corresponding element in array two. Once we finish iterating through our array, all that's left to do is just return our object matches. So now that we have our solution, let's go ahead and uncomment these test cases to see what we get. So again, we have this array in line 18 and 19 that just contains some strings. Uh, and then we have our function that's used as a callback uh, that just um, returns an input string converted to uppercase. And then over in line 21, what we're gonna do is console log the evaluated result of invoking object of matches, passing in our array one, our array two, and our uppercase or function. And this should log our uh, the following object. So let's go ahead and run our code. And we get the um, expected outcome and we also pass all of our tests.